first one we're talking about, Damian Pierce, who Dynasty League Football January startup ADP was RB20, a fourth-round NFL draft pick by the Texans. He'll be 23 when the season starts. At 11.6 half PPR points per game, which was RB22 on the season. A 9.4% target share, which I thought was kind of impressive. That wasn't really something we were expecting. We kind of thought Rex Burkhead would do the majority of that. And Burkhead was involved, but as the season went on, Pierce got more involved in the passing game. And with that, he was sixth in opportunity share at 73.8% out of all running backs. Thomas, how Mm. are we feeling about Damian Pierce? I feel really good about him on other people's rosters. Uh, Like, I feel really good. Like, I think he's a fine player. And I think he really, that first game of the preseason, that people were convinced this was it. The man's ADP skyrocketed damn near to the first round after a preseason game. People lost their minds, and he came out, and he was kind of exactly what we expected him to be, right? The real the real run hard on a bad offense looks great. Super fun, expensive Isaiah Pacheco, the way he runs, right? Like there's really a number of running backs from this class. You can just classify as the same version of player. He's just the most expensive. He did catch the ball a little bit more than we thought. He only had one game of five or more receptions, like really. And he didn't really do a lot with them. So I really feel like his big games were obviously touchdown dependent on a bad team. And that's just what you have to classify him as not just now, but moving forward. And again, day three back, he's got to survive the draft and free agency. Tough, tough scene. Yeah. I think, you know, he was a little bit overpriced at this point, but I think you especially was overpriced early in the year when you were, like you mentioned, when there were the hype was really going, there was points where you get 23 first, first for him. People were gladly sending first for for Damian Pierce. That was the best time to sell, but I still think there's a little opportunity right now. Skyler? Yeah, so I agree with exactly what Thomas is saying. This is the most expensive guy in a group. This is the very first name I have in a tier of 12 running backs. And so he is RB20. I think that ADP makes sense. It's where he is in my rankings, but it's misleading because I don't think there's much separating this guy as far down as RB31 and he is more expensive of the group. I will say, as the season has off season has progressed, his ADP has come back down to where it should be around that seven eight turn. But even there, you got to know the risks you're getting into with this guy. Got into it with somebody on Twitter today who said to me, you know, why the Damian hate? And I'm like, RB twenty really isn't hate. First off, I think it's a respectable no. ranking. But additionally, <laughs> as Tom said, we're talking it's a round three guy. I mean, I have him ranked RB 20s right between RB three to five of this incoming class, which, if anything, you could argue is potentially too high it's simply because we don't know the landing spot of these players. It's all about cost with Damian Pierce. If he's beyond this point, he starts to slide. It's fine, but he's a player that I'm uncomfortable having on my roster. It's a day three back with a we're assuming a rookie quarterback, a team full of holes. The offense is most certainly not going to be that appealing. And additionally, the worst part you mentioned, he's got a surprise free agency and the draft class. I wouldn't be surprised if they bring in a free agent, regardless Rex Burkhead. I think they thought maybe he'd have a little bit more of a role than he had. He's old and getting even older. I wouldn't be uh, concerned about him moving forward, but I would expect them to bring someone else in. They have two firsts, a second, two thirds, a fourth, fifth, four, six, and a seventh. There's no way in hell they are not bringing in at least one back. And if you are holding on to Damian Pierce, you are praying that that back comes day three. And at that point, Damian Pierce was a day three back. So like, you know, you gotta, you gotta have, you gotta keep it level headed. You know, and it was like, well, if they have a lot of holes, why would they spend a day two pick on a running back? And I'm like, did we not see the jets do this last year? Did we not see even more aggressively the Jaguars two years ago when James Robinson, you could have argued, was perfectly fine? Listen, don't fall into the trap and get overexcited about Damian Pierce because of the highlights. He looked fantastic. He's an NFL player, but he is not this dynasty RB1 that you were hoping he was uh, when you saw him first break out early in the season. You missed your cell window for a first second. I think valuing him right in that early second round is totally, totally appropriate. I think part of the problem too is I don't think they it has to be a day two guy. He doesn't have to be a second round pick or another third round pick or even another fourth round pick. He has to be somebody not named Rex Burkhead. Like part of the reason that made Damian Pierce as appealing was he had to go against Rex Burkhead. Like that was it. <laughs> yeah. And if you are a third round running back and you cannot beat out old boy Burkhead, then you shouldn't see the field ever. 
He wasn't even, if you combined Algier and Pierce, you might get James Robinson in, in his rookie year. But they didn't. That's not what happened. And like you said, Robinson got replaced. Like, there's a history with this for a reason. He doesn't have to be, James Robinson could get cut from the Jets and then walk on to Houston. And then all of a sudden, now we get the battle of the, the late round hopefuls that everyone loves, yeah. which would be hilarious. But it doesn't even have to be a second round running back. It could be I, just anyone. I could do this all day. You want me to go yeah. back a draft class even before that? I mean, yeah. Singletary looked pretty darn good as rookie year. They have spent oh. a third round pick or yeah. higher every single season since Singletary's rookie season on trying to bring in another back into the committee. And who's saying Damian Pierce is significantly better than the version of Devin Singletary we saw as a rookie? I'm just saying it's another example of a day three back who does not have the job security you're hoping he does just because he's, you know, young, 20 years old and only in the second year of that rookie deal. Yep. And, and to your point, Thomas, they could draft someone like Kenny McIntosh for someone who's a good receiver mm -hmm. on the backfield. And then that becomes like a, a split really quickly. Be a great mm -hmm. spot for him. Yeah. Yeah. Just Actually, wait. now that I said it out loud. <laughs> Just wait and draft James Conner in your drafts, guys. It's the same. It's, I love it. It's the same. Love I'm a big, big fan of that statement. Don't take Damien in the seventh when you can get Conner in the 11th. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. All right.